Welcome back to Warriors HQ. This week we catch up with Lillian Masaga. We're at the Glasgow Warriors Golf Day at the Carrick at Loch Lomond. We speak to Matt Smith ahead of Saturday's game against Northampton Saints in Stirling. We're at the SP Energy Network's partnership launch in Glasgow. And we speak to new head coach, Dave Reddy. Welcome to Glasgow Warriors. How does it feel to finally be here in Scotland? Yeah, it's it's oh, it's a lot better now that I'm not so much jet lag. But no, nah, it's it's been beautiful. First day, sun came out. <clears throat> Apparently, I was told it was meant to be cold and uh, wet, but it was all lies. It's actually been pretty good. Is wet the weather's been kind to you so far? It has been. It has been kind to me so far. Um, I left New Zealand on a wet, cold day and got to Glasgow on a nice, sunny, uh, warm day. So I'm pretty happy about that. Could you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to the last few months? You've been with the Chiefs, is that right? Yep, been down at uh, Waikato, uh, the mighty Chiefs Stadium, uh, just doing a bit of work uh, with them, just trying to get my fitness up, um, <clears throat> get myself ready for uh, this campaign, Glasgow. Um, yeah, just mainly be trying to keep the legs ticking over so I don't uh, have to play too much catch up when I get here. How exciting is it to be here and have an opportunity to play with Dave Rennie again and, and play in a, a different league, the Pro 14? Yeah, well, I mean, when Dave asked me if I wanted to come here, um, I just thought, yeah, sure. You know, he, he has a good understanding of the game. Um, his game plan's simple and I just, I just like the fact that um, his coaching is uh, completely different to most other coaches that I know. Um, but to be able to come here and play in Scotland, I've never been in the UK before. Um, and yeah, I guess to bring my my talents, my my skills here, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. You're in Europe. You're in the Northern Hemisphere, playing a new new championship, the Pro 14, and also the European Rugby Champions Cup. You must be looking forward to, to playing in that competition. Yep, I most definitely am. Um, I mean, I've never played in the UK, and I look forward to playing um, the, the players that are out that are in the in the UK. Um, New Zealand was pretty hard, Japan uh, was okay, but here um, I guess it's going to be challenging because there's a lot of, lot of speedsters out there, some skillful players, and uh, you know, I'll, why not try and go for another, another title? I've got two in New Zealand, I've crossed that out, I uh, haven't got one in Japan, and I'll see if I can go for one in, in Scotland. Matt, we're here at the Wallace Monument. You're a, a local boy. Is it nice to be here today to look ahead to our pre-season fixture against Northampton? Yeah, it's good to be back home. Uh, I was back because we've got the week off because we just finished block two. I'm back home seeing, seeing the rents just now. So it's very homely and I enjoy being back, I must say. How's pre-season been for you? 
been real tough, but it's good to get my first block, well, my first full pre-season under, because I've been injured uh, the past few past few blocks, the uh, past few years, sorry. Um, but real good to get it done and dusted, and I feel in good tip-top shape for the season. Yeah. Were you frustrated last season with the injury that you got that you maybe felt that you could have pushed on, but obviously that set you back a little bit? Yeah, I feel I feel everything happens for a reason, and I've just I've bounced back from this injury a lot better than uh, me two years ago would have would have done. So I feel I'm in good shape. I'm in good shape this year to secure a contract for after next year, hopefully. And lots of competition in your position. Callum Gibbons coming in, Chris Vassaro there as well, and lots of other players, of course, that can play across the back row. Yeah, it's really exciting. Callum Gibbons coming, I must say. I'm looking forward to learning quite a lot about him, uh, quite a lot from him, so I should, should I say. Um, and Chris Vassar, I'm still learning every as days go on, and it's real exciting having these good calibre players coming over. Have you watched Callum and Super Rugby this season? I have been watching him. He's a great player, makes a lot of tackles. He's a very physical player, and I'm really looking forward to meeting him. And how much are you looking forward to the Northampton game? First pre-season fixture, chance to get back into playing rugby again? Yeah, real looking forward to it. We've put a good few months uh, prepping and it's just all come down to this and to kick-start the season pretty much. Northampton obviously a tough side, they'll be coming here looking to try and get a win. Yeah, they are and I'll hopefully see my good buddy Rory Hutchinson, so that'll be... I've done all, all age grade with him, so it should be exciting coming to see him. Very much excited to work with these guys, and you know, it's uh, all about growing our community as well. So, if you can get the, the next generation of Glasgow Warriors, then that's perfect. It's very important for us to get our health and safety messages out to the wider public about uh, the electricity infrastructure that we have, and that's going to be lifted up by being involved with the Warriors. Obviously, you know, having a closeness of a you know a partner like SP Energy Networks in terms of not just being on the front of the shirt, but being in the based in the same city as well. Obviously, that's an exciting point of view, and you know they're getting involved in a lot of community projects. To have a great partner, Blue Chip uh, partner behind us is is, is important. It's key. Uh, it shows growth. It shows the ambition that we've got in the club, and uh, we're really looking forward to to you know the season kicking off and see what happens. So yeah. So Dave, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. Thank you. It, uh, it was a year to the day on Saturday since we announced that you'd be joining us as head coach. How does it feel to finally be here? It's come around quick, to be honest. Um, it seemed like a long time uh, to prepare and obviously had another chief season to go. And so um, it's been full on. Um, obviously had chief's commitments, but uh, it's been a lot of Skypes and conferences. Um, I've been over here three times um, in amongst bye weeks and so on and um, the coaches came down to um, Cape Town when I was in South Africa and so on so yeah it's been a lot of planning uh, yeah you know far from ideal but um, but you know we've done what we could do. What attracted you to Glasgow Warriors? Um, oh, it's a few things. Um, Gregor came and spent a little bit of time with us at the Chiefs and it might have been 2012, spent a couple of weeks with us and got to know him pretty well and so I've taken a bit of an interest in Glasgow since and um, sort of sent him a message when uh, when they won the Pro 12 and um, I was looking for a new challenge as well. I've, I've been with um, the Chiefs for six years, um, you know, I did a month or two for six years prior to that and uh, so um, I've often talked about going overseas and coaching and so I started thinking about opportunities and um, yeah, when Glasgow, the opportunity popped up, um, I was really excited by it. I've obviously got a bit of Scottish ancestry and um, yeah, so it, it was a really good fit. Though. It's a good club, good people and aspirational, you know, um, so yeah, I think we've got a good squad here and um, you know, the, my first two days, it's, uh, it's been full on, but it's been exciting. You've been, only been here for a few days, but how are you settling in so far? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, um, there's a few things to, to get done, obviously, but um, getting lucky. The um, coaches who have been here have done a fantastic job. Um, 
So, you know, we're going to put a lot of young kids out in the field against Northampton this week and uh, with a lot of our Scottish international boys still technically on leave and they're back training but um, we'll filter them in over the next few weeks and, um, you know, come round one against Connacht, um, we'll still be missing a handful but, I um, mean, there's a few long-term injuries but, um, yeah, it's exciting. Some of these young fellows are going to get a crack early and we're going to learn a bit about them. And just finally, now you're here, what are your aims for the season ahead? Oh, look, we've got high aspirations, uh, as everyone does. And, um, you know, I think um, there's been a lot of hard work done. Uh, we've really tried to claw things right back to micro skills and to then hopefully play the type of game that we're going to play. And, you know, it won't be perfect early in the comp, but uh, the key to these sort of competitions is being at your best at the business end. And, it's a hell of a lot of months away at this stage, so um, yeah, look, we want to be right up there, and I think um, you just got to try and put yourself in a position where you can win it, and that means uh, get yourselves in the playoffs, and once you do that, you're sort of three 80-minute performances away from winning a title, so uh, that'll be the goal, but um, there's a hell of a lot of work to be done leading into that. Warriors HQ will return next Wednesday at 5 on Warriors TV.